Titanium has a melting point of 1,688 degrees Celsius. Jet fuel, also known as kerosene, is a hydrocarbon, which can retain a constant temperature of 1120 degrees Celsius after 40 minutes, but only if the fuel is maintained. The fuel would have burned off immediately upon impact. Therefore, it is scientifically impossible that 12 tons of steel and titanium was vaporized by kerosene. Titanium has a melting point of 1,688 degrees Celsius. Titanium has a melting point of 1,688 degrees Celsius. Titanium has a melting point of 1,688 degrees Celsius. Titanium has a melting point of 1,688 degrees Celsius. Titanium has a Jet fuel, also known as kerosene, is a hydrocarbon, which can retain a constant temperature of 1120 degrees Celsius after 40 minutes, but only if the fuel... Jet fuel, also known as kerosene, is a hydrocarbon, which can retain a constant temperature of 1120 degrees Celsius after 40 minutes, but only if the fuel... Jet fuel, also known as kerosene, is a hydrocarbon, which can retain a constant temperature of 1120 degrees Celsius after 40 minutes, but only if the fuel is maintained. The fuel would have burned off immediately upon impact. Therefore, it is scientifically impossible that 12 tons of steel and titanium was vaporized by kerosene. Titanium has a melting point of 1,688 degrees Celsius. Titanium has a melting point of 1,688 degrees Celsius. Titanium has a melting point of 1,688 degrees Celsius. Titanium has a melting point of 1,688 degrees Celsius. Titanium has a melting point of 1,688 degrees Celsius. Titanium has a melting point of 1,688 degrees Celsius. Titanium has a melting point of 1,688 degrees Celsius. Titanium has a melting point of 1,688 degrees Celsius. Jet fuel, also known as kerosene, is a hydrocarbon, which can retain constant. Jet fuel, also known as kerosene, is a hydrocarbon, which can retain constant. Jet fuel, also known as kerosene, is a hydrocarbon, which can retain constant. Jet fuel, also known as kerosene, is a hydrocarbon, which can retain a constant temperature of 1120 degrees Celsius after 40 minutes, but only if the fuel is maintained. The fuel would have burned off immediately upon impact. Therefore, it is scientifically impossible that 12 tons of steel and titanium was vaporized by kerosene.